Hi everyone, happy Friday. I'm so excited to be giving you your Friday Lenten devotionals during our pandemic. Um, coming at you from my backyard, which I have realized is something I totally take for granted during the everyday uh, hustle and bustle of life. But through social distancing, um, I've been out here more. And I thought I would share with you today about, I'm part of a clergy learning group and we work together on um, different aspects of ministry. But one thing that was brought to my attention was the directions that Jesus gives us in times of worry. And so if you'll remember in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew, I think it's chapter six, um, he addresses this concept of worry, which is part of our human condition, something that we all struggle with, especially during these times, our worry is heightened. And in the midst of that, Jesus says, consider the birds, consider the lilies. He is pointing us back to the creation of God. And so today I was gonna share with you something that I consider every season. And if you look over my right shoulder, you'll see Carla sitting on her nest. Every year we have a nest in our backyard and it's the most exciting time in the Harbarger household. We cultivate backstories for the geese. We um, visit them regularly. You would think that they were friendly with us by now, but they're not. And I'm sitting this way so Sarah can keep her eye on Carla, but I can keep my eye on Peter, who is inching closer to me because he's very protective. Now, Carla is sitting on a nest of seven eggs. And when I consider her, and I consider the fact that every season she just has to sit. She can't swim, she can't fly, and sometimes she doesn't even get off her nest to eat because she knows that she has purpose in being still. And her hope is that all seven of those eggs will hatch and will be healthy. But if you've ever been around birds, you know that the odds are that not all of them will. And she knows that, but still she continues to sit with the hope that um, one day soon, she will have little goslings around her that she swoops up in her wings and that they follow her around. And she will know that this fact of sitting was worth it. And so today I know that we are in a place where we are being forced to sit. And for some of that, us that is really, really hard. And for some of us, it's just an inconvenience. And for others of us, it can be devastating on our livelihood. But I have to always go back to what Jesus is telling us and is simply to consider. And that has become a spiritual discipline for me to take moments out of the day to look back to creation and to consider the details that God has put into each and every one of us. With the hope is that the purpose will be fruitful and when this time is over, that not only are we changed as a people and how we do things in our society, but we're changed also as how we see God working through and with all of us. So today I hope that you will engage in this post by commenting below about what you are considering. Take time out of your day, take a walk, take a look outside, or just turn off all of the sounds and just listen and consider and gain perspective and know that this is for a purpose and that in the end it will be fruitful. So if you will just take a minute and share a prayer with me. See if you'll just pan out over the lake. Get a shot of Peter right there. Yeah. Are you looking at us? <laughs> God we thank you for I guess inconveniences. God, we thank you for moments where we are forced to sit, where we are given opportunity to be reminded of the power of considering. And during this time of so social distancing, during this time of worry, and during this time of uncertainty, God, may we be grounded in the fact that your creation is vast and detailed, not only in the world around us, but within us. God, may we be affirmed in knowing that we are cared for just as the lilies of the field and the birds of the air. Amen.